Hello friends, welcome to our next lecture of basic 2G call flow series. Up till now we have gone through some of the major steps that are involved in the call setup. We have gone through the CM service request message and its subsequent acceptance in which the user equipment or the mobile station first performs an interaction with the core network. Then we have also seen the authentication and security procedure which is being performed between the MSC and the mobile station. We have also seen in the significance of the setup message in which the necessary information for call setup is provided by the subscriber to the MSC network. Also we have seen that how the mobile subscriber roaming number for the B party is being provided to the MSC via HSS. So it was a complete mobile application part procedure which we have gone through in detail. In today's lecture, we will be focusing on the paging process. Paging process is the process with the help of which the called party is being located over the air interface. In this process, the message that is being exchanged between the core network and the access network is called the paging message. And in, in response to this message, a paging response message is being received by the core network. So let's have a detailed look into this message. The paging, paging message is sent by the MSC to request the RNC or BSC to page a UE or to locate it over the uh, air interface. In this uh, snapshot, we will be going through some of the important information elements that are being sent by the MSC to the BSC or RNC so that the call party can be located over the air interface. So uh, one important information element is the MZ. Actually, paging can have multiple strategies. Usually, it is uh, preferred that the first paging attempt, that is the first attempt to locate the called subscriber, should be based on the TIMZ. The TIMZ has its associated benefits. First, more TIMZs uh, can be adjusted in the blocks over the air interface. Also, the usage of TIMZ is more secure for information security over the air interface. The second important information element that is being carried in this paging message is the paging area ID. Because as we already know that in case of cellular networks, the division of the network is basically based on the location areas. So it is, uh, it would not be logical to page a subscriber over the entire network. So the latest location area which is stored in the MSC against a subscriber location, the MSC pages the subscriber over that location area. And in case if that response is not successful, then there can be strategies in which the paging can be performed over even a greater area or even the complete RAN as well under that MSC definitely. So uh, all this information element, uh, the terminating conversation call refers that this paging is being performed for a terminating conversational call. It can be for an SMS as well, or it can be for a USSD procedure as well. So uh, these three information elements, the paging calls, the location area ID, and the uh, UEID. UEID can be the permanent ID or as I said the temporary ID as well. So now let's have a look on the paging response message. The paging, paging response message is basically sent by the RNC or the BSC to the MSC as a response to the paging request message that is being received or that is being responded by the user equipment. So how does the 
ue or the user equipment responds to that message and what different information elements are included in it are that of interest to the network <coughs> are basically the mobile station class mark mobile station class mark is basically composed of the different uh, handset capabilities that the network may use for subsequent call setup uh, that we'll be looking into detail more detail later on and also the id based on which the handset or the ue responds back to the network so in this case we can see that ue responds back by using its mz so these two information elements are being carried the major information elements are being carried in the uh, paging response message hope this lecture has been useful to you so stay tuned for further lectures as well thank you so much